happy Friday. We're back with a, another video today. Um, today we are talking about secrets of a killer Facebook advertising campaign. Um, today we went all out with the board detail, um, so hopefully you can enjoy some of the animals we've created to, to really get the idea of a killer Facebook advertising campaign. Uh, so I want to talk about this because I think that a lot of chiropractors um, are afraid to do a Facebook campaign or really any kind of PPC um, because you don't want to mess it up and you don't really know how to get into it to start practicing to ensure that you're not messing it up. So we're going to talk through the different pieces of a Facebook advertising campaign that will make your campaign successful in the end. Um, as always, you can always reach out to us if you have any questions, so just remember that as we go through this. If anything is confusing, if you want more detail, um, you can reach out to us at any time at chiromox.com and I'll leave our contact information um, below in the info box. Uh, with that, let's get started. The first thing I want you to do before you hit publish on your Facebook advertising campaign is to proofread what you've written. Uh, so it seems simple, but it's important because if you have an ad campaign that goes out with a typo or some grammatical issue or a misspelled word, punctuation in the wrong space, um, that all reflects poorly on your image and the image of your chiropractic brand. And you've spent so long building up this chiropractic brand that you don't want a Facebook ad campaign to um, help destroy it. Uh, so number two is choose impactful imagery. Um, especially on Facebook, the imagery is everything. Imagery uh, dictates whether somebody is just going to scroll right past your ad in the newsfeed or if they'll stop and pay attention. Um, so you have to pick imagery um, that is impactful. Um, what kind of imagery would that be? Well, it depends on your specific audience. However, we've found in the chiropractic industry that it's not always um, best practice to use something like um, a scene from inside your clinic, you know, somebody actually receiving chiropractic care. Perhaps you'd want to consider using some kind of impactful, like wellness, lifestyle, real life, parents with their kids, kids riding on a parent's back, things like that, um, that are easier uh, and parents can do when they're receiving chiropractic care. So don't just think, I'm in this box, these are the type of images I can use. Get creative and use imagery that is first and foremost going to attract attention because you need that for a successful, for a killer Facebook advertising campaign. Uh, thirdly, run A-B testing. Um, you would do this when you already have an ad running. Um, if you don't know what A-B testing is, here's a quick summary. It's running two types of ads that are the exact same ad, except you change one piece of it in one of the ads. And then you see which one performed better. So a way to do this, in your instance, would be to do two different ads, one with one image and one with the other, and everything else remains exactly the same. So you have version A of the ad and you have version B of the ad. And then you see which got more clicks, which got more interaction, um, which got more likes, those kind of stats. And then you know going forward that this image performs highly. This is the image we should use for future campaigns. Um, you can also test out things like uh, content, what type of content. You can test out things like offer. You can test out the link that you're sending people to. However, you only test out one element at a, as a, at a time. Um, because if you test more than one element, then you don't know which element it was that improved the performance of the ad. So my point with using A-B testing is that you're always trying to improve your ad and trying to make it better in the future. That's how, if you have that mentality the whole way through, you're going to be constantly improving your results. Number four is to start small. I believe I talked about this in a previous video, maybe last week, maybe the week before. Um, but 
don't be afraid to start small because you can always scale up. Um, I have a counter to this in number six, which I'll talk about, but start with a smaller budget. You can cap it at something like $25 um, or whatever your budget is and see how it does. Because if you get just one client from that, then you've made your money. Um, but if you start small, then you can you know, get your feet under you, learn the dashboard, learn the types of ads your customers like, what your target audience is looking for. And then once you've got that figured out, expand to a bigger budget um, and you know, go big with it. Uh, number five, this is very important, um, reviewing results. So I want you to be checking to see how your ads are doing. You can't um, set it and forget it. Um, so make sure you're going into your dashboard, seeing how the ads are doing, and if they're not doing well, then just stop the ad. Um, you can also tw try tweaking the ad first, and then if that's still not performing well, stopping the ad. This is one we talked about last week as well because the same thing is true whether you're in AdWords um, or Facebook or any general PPC campaign. You have to be seeing how it's doing. Um, if you don't, if you just set them up and wait and see till the end of that campaign, then you, you may have wasted a bunch of money. Um, and that's not the ticket to success. Um, okay, so number six here we're talking about fearlessness. So in number four, I've talked about starting small, but in the same token, I also want you to not be afraid to keep going, even if you don't see results right away. Uh, so I know you don't want to waste your money, you don't want to waste your budget, but you also have to be willing to play around and try new ads and run it for an extended period of time. Because especially in your industry, it's a big commitment for someone to go from not seeing a chiropractor to making an appointment. And so you might have to hit them with ads multiple times before they'll actually click to your website. And then from there, before they'll actually make an appointment with you. So you might not see results within a month or even two months, but try it, I would say for at least six, and then see how you're doing. You have to have a little bit of fearlessness as you go into it and know that you might need to tweak things as you go and then you won't see results right away. Um, and then actually these two play right in with each other with commitment. That's what I've been saying before is that you need to be committed to it for a longer period of time. Um, you also need to be committed in reviewing the results, in taking the time to pick good imagery, to proofread, uh, to have other people review your ads to see what they think about them. Um, this is a big commitment um, to having a killer Facebook advertising campaign, uh, which is why we also have point number eight here, is that when you need to, seek professional advice. Um, you are a professional at chiropractic, that's what you've trained for, but there's people out there who have trained in Facebook advertising and they know the platform backwards and forwards and they can help you out. So if you're nervous or tentative about it, reach out for help. Uh, yes, <laughs> Chiromox is one such place that you can reach out and we would love for you to do that, but really I just want you to know that even if you're not reaching out to us, reach out for help when you need it um, because Facebook advertising is a great opportunity and I don't want you to hesitate from using it because you're afraid to get it started or afraid of messing things up once you've gotten it started. Um, yeah, that's everything I have. With this advice back here, uh, you will begin having killer Facebook advertising campaigns. Uh, it takes persistence, commitment, fearlessness, everything we've talked about, um, but you'll see results. Uh, if you have any questions on this, again, reach out to us at chiromox.com. Uh, I believe we have one more video on this content series, which is print, PR, and PVC. Uh, so we're reaching the end, but we have had great content up until now, and now, actually. Um, so if you haven't seen any of those videos, feel free to search our channel, um, and we also post them on the blog. I'll leave a link here so that you can get to it um, easily. Uh, but until then, we'll see you back here, same time next week. Bye.